Very best of evening to today we'll be solving the intersection point in Y shaped link list. It's a median level problem and it takes 10 to 15 minutes to solve. Using a trick we can solve this problem in uh, 2 to 3 minutes. Uh, the basic idea is like you have to return the intersecting point of two link lists. Here the link list 1 and link list 2 are intersecting at the node 15. So you have to return the value at that node 15. You have to complete the task in time complexity of big of m plus n and you have to complete the function intersect point so first let us uh, uh, develop the strategy to solve the problem so the today we are solving it using the trick method step one add a negative symbol to the elements of linked list one Link list one to iterate till we reach the end of link list two. Link list one, link list two. So while iterating, we have to check check whether any element is negative. That is case one. If negative then return the data part of the node else move to the next element move to the next element so that's the idea and finally if we have exited from this loop that means we haven't uh, found any intersection so we had to return another word return negative one showing that showing that we haven't found any intersecting point uh, why we are able to use this trick because in most platforms the values will be positive only here yeah. The value is greater than 1, greater than or equal to 1. So you can use this trick. Check for this constraint. If it includes a negative number, then it becomes tough. You have to go for the normal method. So let's have a dry run on the problem. So the head 1 represents the linked list 1 and head 2 represents the linked list 2. Our first task is to add a negative symbol to the elements of link list. So starting from head one, we are adding the negative symbol. Now we have completed our step one, adding the negative symbol to the elements of link list one. While iterating till we reach the end of link list two, we have to check whether any element is negative first element we are checking which is not negative so we are moving to the next element which is not negative we are moving to the next element which is not negative and finally we are moving to the element negative 5 so which is negative so we are returning that value minus 5 and that's the intersecting point so let us code the solution or step 1 step 1 add negative symbol to the elements of the link list here we are adding the negative symbol to the elements of the link list 1 so temp 1 points to head 1 and temp 2 points to head 2 so for every element we are adding the negative symbol minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus we are adding the negative symbol by updating the value using 0 minus that element data part so we will get the minus value so step 2 while iterating till we reach the end of link list 2 while iterating till we reach the end of link list 2 we are checking whether 
2.1 we are checking whether the element is negative we are checking whether element is negative we are checking whether the element is negative if temp dot data is less than 0 if the temp2 value is negative then we are returning the corresponding positive value else we are moving to the next location and finally step 3 step 3 for finally we will be returning negative 1 return negative 1 showing that we haven't found any intersecting point now we will compile the solution and submit it to check whether we have got the correct solution yeah we got the solution and it is extremely time efficient Thank you and have a great day.